Hello and welcome to Mostly Vintage Cameras. This is a Helios 44M2, a uh, 58mm f2 lens commonly found on uh, Zenith cameras. Uh, they've done any number of these over the years of uh, M2, M4, M8 and so on and so forth. Um, and I saw recently some online tutorials. I don't know if you've ever come across a, a tutorial online that tells you how to do something useful or creative or whatever. Uh, anything from how to paint a beautiful picture to how to run your car on biodiesel. But uh, there's plenty of tutorials which will teach you how to uh, remove this holding ring or lock ring, uh, spin the front element around and uh, create what they're describing as a globular lens. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to follow a YouTube tutorial or a, an online tutorial, but I often wondered to myself, is this really going to be possible? Can I do this? So today, we're going to find out. I have to say that the most common videos for this sort of thing are by Matthew Stern, and I hope I've pronounced his name vaguely correct, and he has some great content, so well worth checking out his channel. Um, the lens has a number of tiny... I can barely see it. Little notches to take a pin spanner. I think there's about three around the perimeter of the ring. Now I don't have a pin spanner, so I'm going to try and drift the ring out with a screwdriver. Oh, crikey. Well, there we go. That was easy. Um, so far, so good. Now, Watching other videos about this, the trick of it seems to be between the top of the ring here and the lens you need to have enough thread to be able to screw the ring back on uh, with the front element reversed. Let's go back to that first indent as that seems to be the one giving me the most success. Just. Drifting it out of the way. No. Okay, so at this point I think I'm going to put some gloves on. So I don't go and put fingerprints all over it. There we go. lens is just turning relatively freely, or well, the ring is just turning relatively freely, and there we go. So that's the retaining ring, and uh, on this one of course you can see the Bilomo factory mark. So this particular 44M was made in the Bilomo factory, they're also made by KMZ and others. Now at this point this front element should Ooh, drop out. Important not to be too heavy handed when you do that apparently. So let's just try and rebuild the bits that have fallen out. Get them the right way around. Mm -hmm. That's all very exciting. And then the trick of it is simply to, instead of putting the lens in that way, put it in that way. And then hopefully our retaining ring will go back in place. Now as you recall this wasn't overly secure when we took it out. Now, if you're worried about using a sharp metal tool like a screwdriver on these pins, um, if this was a, a posh lens, I wouldn't be doing this. But these 44Ms are very common uh, and not wildly expensive. Okay, well that appears to have been entirely successful. So let's go and give it a try. So here's some results 
uh, with the current safety restrictions in place I didn't want to drift too far from my uh, backyard as you can see with the lens stopped down around about f8 or more it can be quite sharp in the center but around the edges we can see this very dramatic uh, softening of the image a uh, very uh, superficial bokeh um, hard to know what sort of subject is best suited to this uh, this is in broad daylight as you can see it does seem to work quite nicely with uh, subjects where you want to isolate uh, one part from the surrounding backlit subjects or subjects with bright lights in do tend to work better there's a couple of uh, objects just on my illuminated computer keyboard um, and lastly we have a little robin because every day is better with a robin anyway I hope this has been of interest to somebody thank you for watching I do appreciate it have a good day